Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to uh, Blue Cat Art. It's been a while, I know, but I'm here again. Um, this is my clouded leopard. Beautiful, beautiful pussycat. And really, really enjoying the challenge of this one. I'm currently using, doing this bit here, part of the nose and the brow of the nose. And I'm using uncarded wool. So it's still raw. It's been washed. Um, but as you can see, can you see? Just about, yeah. As you can see, it's still quite raw and it teases out quite well. It works so, so well. Um, let me give you an idea of, it, it looks more like that as it's come off the sheep. Um, so you've got dark and light in this um, in this big chunk that I've got here. So I'm using the light bit for this part of the nose. Now you can see there's a, there's a big difference between this bit here and this bit here. And that's because this is the colour that I'm actually looking for for the nose. And this is the nearest colour I have to it. Um, we can't always get exactly the colour we want. So we have to make our colour ourselves. So I'm going to tease this out. And again, little bits at a time. Like I've said before, I'm only using a really fine detailing needle. Um, I don't want big clumps of wool in one place. So I'm just using a nice fine needle and I go in at a bit, quite a bit of an angle. I mean, I'm almost laying the needle down because as I do that, I can pick the threads on these little barbs and I can just push them in so I can keep the thickness level as well as not getting big big clumps and I can just squeeze it into the little spaces that I want I don't want it too thick um, I'm thinning my work right out because I've realized I don't need to have an underlayer anymore um, as long as my will my wool even covers the area that I'm looking to to cover um, I don't need to have an, an, an undercoat so I'm just doing and this this wool it works so so well because it's not been carded it's not fine and fluffy and silky so it's still got that not i wouldn't say greasy it's not greasy at all it's clean because it's been washed you can smell the, the soap powder on the wall but it's still got a little bit of grease to it that i think you would brush out if you were carding it um a natural oil i think it's probably better a natural oil so as you can see i'm building up this area just nice and slowly little bits at a time because you know if you go in with big 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 chunks then you end up with it so uneven and it starts looking messy and then you start getting despondent because you're thinking it just doesn't look right and you try and take a bit away and then you take too much away so little is best I think you can always add and yeah you can take it away but it's much easier just to add a tiny bit more than to try and pick out the bits that you've done um, also just giving it a bit of a, a brush so like here I can see I've got a little a little gap that I need to fill so just again tiny tiny you you can't even see that i can see it i don't know if you can see it on the camera um 
I don't want to put too much in. If I put too much in, then I've got to start faffing about trying to get it out again. So just little bits, little bits. And I've got this lovely grey here that I'm just going to give it a, a comb, give it a tease, flick the fibres up. And look, that blends in really lovely now. It's all about blending, doing these portraits, this ultra realism portrait. It's about making the eye believe you're seeing the real thing. And a lot of that is to do with blending your fibres together to make them look like they've always been there. Okay. See, less is more. And patience is the name of the game at the end of the day as well. I do love some patience. Not to my best quality, I can say. But I'm learning. I am learning patience brings results. You know, it's... And at the end of the day, if you have patience doing it a little bit at a time, it's actually going to be quicker to do your project because you're not having faff about taking bits away. So you're actually going to be a lot quicker. So I'm just going to fill up this bit here and then I'm going to... It's only going to be a short video. I'm videoing this in my living room on my sofa rather than in my art room because my art room currently has um, other work in there, work in progress, and I just don't have the space today to do this in there. So I've tried to set this up in the living room so it's only going to be a short one because I want to see how well it comes out and as you can see I'm just finishing this bit off here and then I'm going to show you how I can change the colour from that to this or the other way around sorry from this bit to that because on my photo, this is far too bright and has more of a, a grey tinge to it like this. And sadly, I don't have that colour. So I've literally got a lovely chunk of grey wool. And it's quite a light grey. It's not too heavy. This has been carded but it's quite raw in its texture and I'm literally just taking this tiny tiny amounts and even less than that I'm going to cut that in half and I'm just going to place it over the bits that I've just done and just gently I don't want to poke it in too hard because I don't want to end up with big dark blobs of colour but I want it to stick to the other wool firmly so I'm just teasing it in with the end of my needle and can you see how that is just a tiny tiny amount has just changed the colour from that nice bright sand colour to more of a dull grey sand colour I'm just going to carry on doing that just take another tiny tiny and tease it out because you don't want these these blobby bits where the wool's stuck together you don't want them to to influence your color and you don't want a big fat blob of gray you want a nice equal blending surface if you get a blobby bit just, just tease it out a bit there you go and you can just keep playing with it until you get exactly the colour you want and you can add three or four colours over the top of this 
if it's still not quite the shade you want you can add different colors on the top just like that tiny tiny amounts you're literally only adding a few hairs at a time and there you go and i might just just gonna add a fraction more just here because although to the naked eye it looks right it just needed a little bit more you can see much more through your camera lens than you can through through your own eyes especially when you get to my time of life <laughs> when glasses are a necessity um, it's easier sometimes to rely on a camera or a video and zoom it out a bit or in a bit to help you see the values and everything there you go so again only a short little video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've learned something please let me know if there's something that you really really want to to see and if it all goes well well maybe we'll do one of the ear next okay thank you for watching bye